Would you know what to do if someone suddenly grabbed you or attacked you? How would you respond? Reacting the right way is the focus of the Escape Alive training classes being offered for free to Connecticut women and teenage girls. Take a look. You can grab our fingers and bend it down and get that person off balance a little bit. It may look good and even feel real. Yes. But it's not. Ready? It's an exercise in what to do and what not to do if someone is serious about attacking you. Drew Serrano of East Coast Training Systems leads the class. Nobody thinks they're going to be a victim, but there's always a possibility. Donna Palumba didn't think it could happen to her. She was asleep when she heard a noise in her house 20 years ago. I saw a masked intruder enter my bedroom. I had no time to react. I was quickly overcome. I screamed. Sherry Klein Tingirlis fell asleep on her couch while watching TV. I didn't hear anything. I just um, literally awoke to a gun to my head. Uh, it was a masked intruder. That was 10 years ago. Both women were home with their young children. Only Donna Palumba's attacker was caught. Just a month ago, high school student Dalen Kale says she was in the mall when she noticed a man following her. And I was in the store and I noticed a guy was following me around the store. And then, you know, I tried to leave the store and he grabbed my arm. So I learned in the class that where their thumb connects to your arm, you can move your arm away and you can get out. So I did that. She took this very class last year. The first part of each class focuses on prevention and learning to be aware. In this high-tech world, one could argue people don't pay attention the way they used to. Today's world, especially I see the teenagers walking around, their head is just completely uh, into their cell phone or their iPod, and they have no idea what's going on around them. And that's what predators are looking for. The second part of the class gets physical. Learning moves that could potentially get you out of a scary situation. Students learn how to use their elbows, their fists, the palms of their hands. The palm is a very good strike. There's kicking. Go! <coughs> Go! And more Step kicking. Forward, grab that shoulder and drive that knee. <laughs> Students learn they should tuck chin to chest if someone tries to choke them, protecting the windpipe and keeping them from passing out. They learn how to break free from a bad guy's grip with a twist of the arm. Don't waste too much time. Go ahead, pull. And I'm pulling because before you know it, I could grab you and carry you away. The Jane Doe No More Foundation, a victim advocacy group started by Donna Palumba in the years after her attack and rape, has been able to secure funding to make these classes available free of charge to interested women and girls. As a victim who's become a survivor, it is just very empowering to be able to help others to understand um, just some simple techniques that can get them out of a tough situation and, and hopefully prevent people from becoming a victim. Great information there. And again, they're free classes. So there are limited openings if you're interested in attending these classes or sponsoring the Escape Alive program with the Jane Doe No More Foundation. Just go right to our website, WFSB.com, where you will find a link to get more information. We're also putting up our full interviews with Donna Palumba and Cherry Kine Tingirlis. They share the stories of their attacks and how they were able to escape alive.